Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record payments into bank accounts. Now, there are a couple of ways of doing this. The first is record is to record a bank receipt. Let's say that there has been a bank charge refund or something like that. Money has gone into the bank that hasn't been through a credit customer. To record that sort of receipt into the bank account, simply highlight the bank account you wish to record the receipt. In this case, it's going to be the HSBC current account. Click on bank receipt. You'll get one of these boxes appear, which you should be familiar with by now, and you can put in the details. So it was on the 17th for the 4th, 2017, and it was a bank charge that was refunded. So I'm going to put that as £3, and it had no... VAT, so T9. I'm now going to do another one. Let's say there was a cash sale that didn't go through a credit customer. Perhaps we have a shop and someone came in and bought something. So I'm just going to put sales. We could use one of these other accounts such as 4001. And I could edit that to say shop sales. I may actually do that. So 4001, I'll just put in here shop sale and that was 78 pounds including the VAT so I'll click calculate net so that's 65 net and 13 pound VAT I'll save that and you'll see that there's a balance now in the bank account as some money has been recorded as going into the bank now going back to the nominal ledger let's find the bank account so it's 1200 so nominal codes, 1,200. It was a 4,000 code. So here we go, 65 pound, sales type B. I'm gonna change that to shop sales. Hopefully you're following along with what I'm doing. Okay, great, 4,001 is now shop sales. And we have that shop sale recorded. Going back to the bank accounts, there's nothing else. There's no other money that went into the bank account apart from money that was paid through our credit customers. Now to record that, I don't want to do a bank receipt. I want to allocate payments to invoices that have been raised. So I need to use the icon next to that, which is the customer receipt feature. If I click on that, this box will appear, customer receipt. I'm asked to put in the account. So let's do X, Y, Z computers click on that their invoices that are outstanding will appear on their account I put in the date that they paid so let's say they paid this today on the 25th go down to the invoice that they paid so let's say they paid this one 458 for 600 pound and they paid 600 pound so I put 600 pound in there they've cleared the whole invoice and I'll click save and you'll see that the balance is now 681. I'll do that again in a moment. I just wanna show you the customer record. So XYZ Computers, if I double click on their account and we have a look at their activity, you'll see that there are two invoices and a sales receipt. And you'll see that there's an asterisk next to just one of these invoices because the asterisk means it's outstanding. If I click on outstanding only, it will just show invoices that are outstanding. If I take that off, you can see both invoices and a payment made that clears one of those invoices. Let's do the same for ABC Custom. Now they are above their credit limit, so this will be good because this will bring them back within their credit limit. So customer receipt, so I want to record a customer payment. So customer receipt, A, B, C, custom, I'll click on them. They paid this yesterday, 24th, 2017. Instead of entering dates manually, you can click on this calendar here 
and choose the date. So it was the 17th, just double click and that will bring that up for you. It may be a bit quicker than entering the amount um, manually. So let's say they paid these three invoices at the top. Um, so that was 240. Let's put 240 in there. The next one is 240. Now instead of entering the amount manually, you can click this pay in full button at the top or click F3 and that'll put 240 in. And I'll do the same for this. So this is 420. Instead of typing 420, I can just click pay in full. So that's 900 pound. Now another way to record this is if I see the amount that they paid on the bank statement, let's say they paid 900 pound. I can just use the automatic icon here, click on that, and that will allocate £900 to their account and clear the oldest invoice first. So we have 240, 240, 420. Save, click yes. If I bring up their account again, you'll see there's just the one invoice outstanding now because three have been cleared. If I go to their customer account, you'll see the balance is now 300. They're no longer in red. Go to the activity. You can see all the invoices on there and this sales receipt, this payment that they made. If I click on outstanding only, there's just the one outstanding. There's a good balance in the HSBC business current account now. So if you are receiving payments from customers and their credit customers that are on the customer list, if they've had an invoice and their payment clears that invoice, you need to use the customer receipt feature. If you are receiving money through other means, so you have a shop and people are buying through the shop or you have some sort of refund for a bank charge or you receive interest, or any other type of income, you'll use the bank receipt. In the next video, I'll show you how to record payments and then I'll spend some time on bank transfers.